In this video, we are going to look at how to download data from NASA Earth Data. You want to start by opening a new tab in your web browser and in your search bar, type NASA Earth Data. From the result, um, click on Earth Data Search. This is the default window for the data size for NASA Earth Data. So this repository contains scientific data that, that you can use for your research and your analysis. Um, you want to start by looking how to download more this data. Malay's data one for vegetation indices and another one for land surface temperature over a steady area which is Ghana and in the month February in 2024. Yeah, so that's our search criteria. The date ranges um the month of February in 2024 and our steady area is Ghana. So you can see um, these are some default collections uh, here that you might want to look through and you keep scrolling but that's going to be tedious so to narrow down uh, search and get this result quicker you want to go by um, typing in your search bar modis Let's look for more this. We realize there is still a lot of data with regards to modis. So let's say we are looking for the specific data mode 1383. Mode 1383, we have two data sets. Mode one three eight three. Now the select our date range. You select your date by coming to this session. Um, our starting date is twenty twenty four February first, and our ending date is twenty twenty four February twenty ninth. When you're done, select and click apply, and then in your map area, um, you can collapse this window. By clicking here, so you can vividly see your map environment and the steady area is gonna. So, I want to use our geometry tools to crop out our steady area here. They are, um, you can use the polygon to, to clearly draw around your steady area, but we are going to make use of the rectangular tool right here. And then you want to carefully select your steady area, make sure every detail is in your selection and then when you are done you realize your, your geometry has taken effect and your date is in place so you want to come back and open this window and say like you can see there's only one result left so the more you add your search criteria the more you narrow down the result options available for you and to make it easy for you to select your data so open this let's see what we have there so this is okay let's zoom to our steady area this session and let's see our result when you click on this you are like um the scene is covering only this aspect of the map or your steady area when you click on this you realize like this thing is covering here when you click on this it's covering here when it's covering here so yeah. to obtain a composite data you need to download all this for data and then uh, mention from a composite then you can start um, performing your your analysis and then working on it as you're supposed to so to download this data you need to um, use make use of the download button 
um, on each of the images you start by clicking the download button and clicking the link below this pop-up when you're done with those you move to the next one and repeat the same method come here click download button download come here click the download button download um so let's say we are done downloading the models for vegetation and this is let's look for one for land surface temperature and just go to our search bar and then begin by typing lsg in our search bar and let's wait for the results available you can see we have a lot of uh, data for land surface temperature and uh, we are looking for a specific one mode one one b three so you can just go through these options and look for your your mode one one b three or to um make it easier you can just go to your search world and type the mode one three b three and then uh, wait for the result it's rather one one b three here yeah this is a specific version we are looking at let's look at the data set available as usual we will have to download all this for from a composite then we can start working on it because of the study area we are looking at so you start by clicking on the download icons and then clicking the link for each of them to download and when you get all this data all you need is to form a composite and you have your full data set there are other science data products made available for free by NASA that you can explore and use for the research you are working on when it comes to Earth observation. Yeah, when it comes to Earth observation, the data you are looking for may be, may be found there. So just come and do your research here and when it's available it's free for downloads you can get it and then move on with your project thanks for watching